Hey, what's up guys? Sadness here. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're hopping back into some Brotato and we're going to click the random button and see what we get. Mutant. We get plus 200% XP gain and plus 50% item price. Now, what I was saying we were going to do with the random characters, we were going to, I'll show you when we get to that point. I actually want to try the Cacti Club out. So we're going to do that. So, we're going to choose the difficulty of our lowest, uh, whatever the lowest is for the random. Well, hmm. Yeah, we'll just go lowest for now. I want to try Cacti Club because it does something cool here. As you can see, when you hit, it actually shoots out projectiles as well. So you want range damage and melee. Probably mostly melee, but I would say range damage. It could probably get out of control. So we're going to see how that goes. Uh, right off the bat, I'll just take some damage and some luck. We already got another Cacti Club. Another one. Do I go for even more XP? Screw it. Why not? All right, so we got double Cacti Club right now. If you guys hear any background noise, it's probably my cat. Pumpkin is in here with me right now. And... oh. Alright, let us not die right off the bat. And I get some wins off camera, right? But like, I have bad luck on camera. We're gonna go for melee damage and attack speed. We'll go for, oh shoot. Well, the item was more expensive than I was expecting, but that's fine because now we should be getting a crap ton of XP and we should level up very quickly. I forgot things, did it say things cost more in the shop as mutant? I think it said things cost 50% more, but we get 200% uh, more XP. Now here's the thing I've discovered while playing off camera. Harvesting is actually really good. I was playing a farmer character and they have, we'll see when we get around to it, but they have more harvesting. You just get so many materials and like currency to buy stuff. Let's go for attack speed here. I say that, but watch me not buy any. All right. That's probably good enough. Get chopped. Now I would like to see how good we can actually get the needles that shoot out, like how much damage those can actually do. Because I'm sure they're really good. And it's like, you don't see a lot of, especially in like these kinds of games, I feel like you don't see too many like ranged melee combos. It's usually one or the other. But that could just be me being ill-informed. But I mean, check this out. We're going crazy. We're going to go for damage. I know we're only on wave four, but I just feel like we're doing great right now. We're going for more attack speed. Another cacti club. And... Hmm. I'm going to save it for dangerous bunny because it's actually really good. Like, you don't realize how much you actually reroll. Me and my uh, dad were changing the tank on the back of a truck today for a because we work at a pest control place and uh yeah the tank is like 250 pounds at least and it, it kind of like fell on my arm almost like it was hanging by a chain right but it wasn't like it got unleveled when we were trying to pull it out from under the truck and pretty much just like fell right on my arm it hurt really bad at first but we're, I'm, I'm pretty fine now but dang, at first it, <laughs> it hurt so bad. Now I just got a massive bruise on my arm. But we're fine. It happens to the best of us, you know? Ooh, this is a really good range damage. Damage. I'm going to take range damage here so we can up the damage of our needles. Three damage doesn't seem like that much though, right? Another cacti club, but it's better. Sure. And it's like when you have the dangerous bunny as well with those free rerolls, you might as well lock the item you want, like if you can't get it and use your free reroll up if you haven't already. Because you might just find an item that, okay, 
Pumpkin, please don't jump up on the desk, sir. I don't want you to mess anything up while I'm trying to record because I can't really, like, stop you. Hold on. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. There you go. You want out? Come on. Come on, buddy. Oh, there we go. Okay. Sorry about that, guys. Just a little cat detour or distraction to throw in the middle of our rotato run. <laughs> I believe in myself. That was so much money that I didn't get. Uh, let's go melee damage and some regular speed here. Get that cacti club, get another cacti club. Start combining some stuff. Um, I would take gummy berserker. And look, we're just going crazy right now. We got a crap ton of cacti clubs. If the enemy's close enough, we hit them with every single one at the same time, which is pretty funny. You've seen that if you go back and actually look that first enemy that we that we attacked <laughs> actually got hit by every single one of them at the same time. Which I would assume they all hit because, you know, if they all hit at the exact same time, their damage registers all at the same time. Which means they probably all hit. Instead instead of like, you know, one hitting killing and then all the other ones technically don't hit. I don't really know how damage is registered in this game though, like I could be wrong on that, but it did look like they all hit, so. <laughs> all right. Let's go for 45 range. And we'll go for some life steal. grab another cacti club here, get that gummy berserker. I say berserker, but it's just berserker. Um, what else do we want? Another cacti club. I don't mind like hard focusing weapons because then on the later waves I can just grab pure upgrades. Now that kind of scares me that we're not killing these big boys faster because I feel like that was a lot of hits, you know? So we definitely need to get our cacti clubs and then just hard focus some damage. I mean, 40 health is decent, I feel like, for wave 8. At least for me, I usually have, like, not very much. I feel like I don't have very much of this wave. Sometimes I do panic, though, and just take a bunch of max HP upgrades because I don't want to die. But I do like to play it a little bit riskier when I'm actually doing, like, videos because it's more interesting. Kind of like when I play something like Binding of Isaac and I see a reroll. I could have the greatest run of my life and reroll it just for the entertainment value. Uh, I'll, let's just get ourselves up to 50 HP and I'll go 10% attack speed. Grab the Cacti Club, combine one of them. So now it's doing 47 damage versus the base 19, which is actually crazy. It triples its damage. And then we have, let's see. We get max HP for, since they're primitive and then even more damage since they're heavy. Uh, we'll go for some damage since I just got a crap ton of max HP. And grab, we'll lock this other cacti club. So that 40 damage is really going to help us clear out the bigger boys, I think. I'm assuming that also means the, uh... Actually, no, I think the needles scale purely off of... Purely off of, uh... What's it called? Range damage. Now, the one thing, the range on them is insane, because we got that 45 range upgrade. Like, it pretty much covers the whole map. Another thing, too, that I would like to point out is if we get that one, I don't know if it's like, 
the mutated eyes or something like that. The one that shoots out tears, or tears, oh my gosh, that shoots out other projectiles once you kill an enemy. That would be very good for us because that's just even more projectiles on the screen. Which, I mean, we're just rolling in it right now. We have so much money. For, for not getting 50% of our money, and we made 404. All right, let's go there. Let's go range damage. Since it was a legendary, I feel good about it. And let's take a little bit of armor, I think. Let's grab that cacti club. Uh, max HP I'll take for only one, one damage down. Combine two of those and grab that one. Lock that one and probably lock that as well. All right. We have all our weapons. Well, wait. Do I have the max weapons? It's six, right? Yeah. Yeah, I do. Okay. Because I bought that one normal cacti club. All right. But yeah, I feel like this is going fairly well. We're halfway done. And... You know. We're doing decent damage. I was saying we needed to get some damage, but I... I mean, we're clearing stuff right now. And I haven't really taken any damage yet, so that's also good. I don't know if that's just me dodging good, or if we are actually doing a decent amount to not take damage. It could just be, you know, the sum of all the parts. Look at all this money. I've had runs where I get full money where I didn't even get this much. Like, I just dove in there for the rest of it. Melee damage. Um, do I want to lose my luck? That's the thing. Mm, no, I don't want to lose my luck. So we're going to take the attack speed here. I told you guys I wasn't going to buy any of those. Uh, what was it? What did I say I wasn't going to buy? Oh, harvest. <laughs> my harvesting is zero. I'll take some attack speed. Lock that damage and then go to the next wave. By the end of the uh, by the end of the run, we should have. I I feel like we we will have all legendary cacti clubs, which you know, true test of their power. Considering we can see what it's like to have fully upgraded, or at least close to fully upgraded, and. There are certain things that I really want to try on a build, like the minigun. Like, I was trying on that one run to get the minigun, but I never got it. And, you know, I do want to try the flamethrower as well. But anytime they show up for me, I just don't have the build for it. So, like, I know, I, and you can't really, like, at least me, I don't know if I'm good enough yet to switch my whole entire build just at the end of the game when they usually show up. Maybe I just need to rush for luck at the beginning of a match and see if I can get them early. It just seems like a hard thing to do, you know? Plus 20 luck, I'll take that. And health regen, sure. Now we regen one health every, almost every second. Take the damage, take the range damage. And I think that's good. We have two or three cacti clubs dealing 50 damage and uh, seven damage per projectile. And then, uh, two doing 36 per, so that's good. And we have a bunch of luck now, so we should be getting some better items as well. So, you know, if I get some cacti clubs, they're probably going to be pre-upgraded. Hopefully. Because once you start getting towards the end, it does get a little hard to upgrade unless you do have the luck. But I usually try to keep at least one slot open. And then obviously, like, if I have a- if I have one common, then I can use my- I can- Alright, if I have one common and that's- all my rest are legendary, then let's say I see a blue in the shop, right? I can just sell my common and then grab the blue. And then just hope for another blue. But like I said, it, it gets a little bit harder to do the more you have. So I usually try to keep one free space open. I'm really 
really just trying to collect all the money that I can. Leech, um, sure, why not? Negative harvesting, you lose six material. Okay, so negative harvesting does affect you. I was curious on that one. And harvesting increases by an additional 8% at the end of the wave. We still have quite a few waves, so I'll take it. See, guys, I did take harvesting. Are you proud of me? We're going to get little muscly dude as well, so I'm just going to... I'm just going to lock it and go to the next wave. It does look like we're one-shotting most things right now, though, which I'm happy about. Especially these little helmet dudes. I don't know if we're necessarily one-shotting them or if they just take the spike damage as well and die, but it kind of looks like we're one-shotting. It does look like they insta-die when we whack them. I believe in myself. Let's test on these bigger dudes here. Okay, they, they take a little bit of a beating. That's probably not the best for my health. So if I can work on a little more damage, that would probably be nice. Or just survivability to be able to survive whacking them along. Let's try and grab some of this money. If I die, I would be so sad. All right, attack speed straight up. We're gonna take, I really like wings. Um, so I'm going to lock both of these. I'm actually going to combine these as well and just grab the cacti club next. Hmm, trees nine, one hit. I'm probably good on that. Alright, let's see if four cacti clubs are good enough. They're all purple though, so I wouldn't see why it would be a problem. Because, like I said, the damage basically like triples from the base. Because base damage of a normal cacti club is 10, and the purple one is 30, so literally triples. I don't know what the scaling is like based off of the, uh, you know, damage upgrades, but we'll see. It is a little bit, um, chaotic now, so I probably should start going for some survivability. Like, it is way 14 and I'm still going for weapons. <laughs> I really just go for whatever, I'm gonna be honest. I think I focused something, but then I just realized we we grabbed quite a few things that weren't weapons, so. Oh no. Okay, it's starting to get it's starting to get dicey. Gonna Oh okay, okay. Hmm. Max HP, speed, health region. Probably max HP, if I'm being honest. Harvesting increases by an additional 8% by the end of a wave. An additional, which means it won't go up from negative. Let's see, there's actually two cacti clubs here. So I'll lock that one. We'll just go to the next wave and hope we can survive long enough to actually grab it. I am curious how much the damage upgrades on the legendary version. That would be something that is worth noting. Now our spikes look like they're doing eight damage now. The spikes coming out of the cactus, which is probably like decent as far as, you know, just side damage goes. I'm kind of getting like, it's hard to move forward, but I kind of have to if I want to be able to, one, collect my stuff, and two, collect heals. There are a lot of things coming in right now. Pick up range. Man, you guys are going to kill me in the comments. Pick up range, I need it. I'll take that. We'll go with speed. Cacti club. Ca Wasn't there two cacti clubs? Oh no, I bought the other one. Robot arm, huh? Probably don't need it. Let's uh, take the wings. Do another reroll, see if we have anything good. Metal's good. 
Oh, you know what? Maybe okay. Item price is up, not not money that drops. Good to know. I'm actually gonna combine one of these just to see how much the damage goes up. Almost doubles again. It's doing 88 damage now. And I'm looking at base damage, by the way. So base is 50 here. This is 30. That's it goes up times five of the original one. So just to give you perspective there. It's funny the waves like I feel like they give you the waves that um, newer enemies come in and it's like, oh, it, like it just feels like an easier wave usually because it feels like there's just way less enemies. It could be that or it also could just be my build getting more powerful, but for some reason I doubt that at this point. Because like we're barely, we, I, I feel like we were doing good, but it also kind of feels like we were barely keeping our head above water in the last round, which is not necessarily where you want to be towards the end of the game. Because like how many more upgrades are we really going to be able to get? But, I will say, we are kind of rocking stuff right now. But it is the first, I think it's the first wave of these guys that buff. So, I mean, I think there's less enemies that wave. Plus dodge chance, 50% chance to heal 5 when dodging. That's just free, I don't know why I wouldn't take that. Purple Cacti Club, beautiful. Do our free reroll here, like I said before, because you might as well. Alright, let's see. Now, so you can see these guys, they're definitely taking a little bit longer to kill than I would like. But if we get in there and really pummel them before any other enemies show up, then it's not too bad. But how viable will that be towards the end, you know what I mean? It's like... I don't know. It's going to be a little hard towards the end, especially when you get a bunch of them coming in at you and you can't just focus one of them. And when they get buffed by those buff dudes. Isn't it funny that the buff dudes are the least buff dudes? Like, look at it. It's just a little, little round sack guy. I'm getting, like, a decent amount of money, though, like... I feel like a lot, a decent amount more than I normally get. Attack speed, sure. Or health regen. Almost one health every half a second. We'll take metal because I said I was gonna. I'll uh, lock that one. Any other ones for us? Nope. All right, wave 18. Let's see what we got. These guys can be a little bit, like, more challenging than you think, too. The guys that just try to ram you. Because, like, they're the kind of dudes that do a little bit of damage to you a bunch of times. And kill you that way. Because look at my health right now. Like, I don't think I've... They don't do that much damage. It's just, like, they... I died. I'm a failure, guys. But sadly, I don't have a lot of time to record today because I did have to work today, so sorry if I'm disappointed, but uh, let me know what kind of build you guys want me to do, and let me know if you guys want to see a specific character. Um, that was me trying the Cactus Club build. Uh, maybe there was something I could have done better, but like I said, I don't have a lot of time to record today, so that's going to have to be the video. I appreciate you guys for watching. If you liked, please leave a like down below. I just said that totally wrong. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like. Leave a comment down below if you have any suggestions for, uh, you know, builds or characters. And subscribe if you want to see more. Other than that, I will see you guys next time. Have a good day, guys.